Hello my quilting friends, Leah Day here with a new free motion quilting design. Today I am stitching impossible maze and as you can see it involves a lot of straight lines and sharp angles. So I'm going to talk you through it. I'm stitching down and now turning at right angles and leaving a little gap between this little boxy shape and the one before it. And now I'm going to come all the way back to the edge of my quilting space, travel stitch over, and fill in that space as well. So this fills your quilting space and this would work great in uh, like a sashing or borders. It would be working great in any of those areas where you can stitch into the center. So just like this, stitch out and then stitch back. It's really nice when you have kind of a narrow gap in your quilt and you need to fill it in with something that's a nice texture and this would do it. You can also branch inside. So here I'm gonna do kind of a T shape. This is a little tricky, so you have to think about it. So I'm gonna stitch in, I'm gonna come up just a bit and then make that turn. Now I wanna make sure that these lines, that roughly kind of the same with these lines I've stitched before and I can just rotate my quilt around just to make sure everything stays nice and straight. So this is gonna work great in sashing and borders and as you can see, it kind of locks together and the name Impossible Maze came from the idea that, well, if you have a couple you know, straight lines straight across, you'd never be able to get out of this maze <laughs> ever. You know, it would definitely be impossible to win. So that's really where the inspiration came from. And it's very simple. You stitch a few of these boxy shapes on one side and then stitch all the way across a few times if you wanna fill it in and match it up on the opposite side. Now, this is basically a boxy straight line version of one of our earliest designs in the Free Motion Quilting Project, and that was Etch and Sketch. And so if you want a design that's very similar to this but has curves, definitely check out that other video. I really love the effect and texture of this impossible maze, and I can't wait to see how you use it on your quilts. So that's it for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed learning this new quilting design with me today. Definitely share this video with your friends if you enjoyed it. And until next time, let's go quilt.